Hi, I'm George Ferguson, and I'm the instructor for CPD 410 Leadership and Ethics. First of all, welcome to the class. We really appreciate you being a part of the ODU community and being a part of this class. Second of all, we wanted to make sure that you know what to expect as far as this class is concerned. In this video, we're going to be going over the expectations, the things that need to be done for the class, and making sure you understand how to use Canvas. So to show you the things that are necessary for the class, when you log into the, the course, you'll hit the landing page where it gives you some background and you will see the three most recent announcements here at the top. Now you can also get to the announcements from here, okay, in the navigation, and I'll show you all of the announcements and things. The thing is, once you come to the class, you'll see the most recent announcements here. Now you should also receive the announcements in your email, so make sure you're checking your email for the things that are coming in. You'll see the inbox over here, that is where you'll find any of the announcements and also maybe your regular ODU email. You're obviously in the start here section, since you're watching the video. In the start here section, we also have some of the technology prerequisites. These are suggestions. A majority of the class can actually be done with just a Chromebook if you need to. The thing is, with documents that you're going to be submitting, such as the Reflected Best Self and the book review, make sure that you're utilizing primarily a PDF format. We can also accept Windows formats or open document text formats. No Apple formats are accepted. Apple doesn't play well with anybody but Apple. Canvas can't open Apple formatted uh, pages and things like that. I can't open them. So please make sure that you submit all of your files either by PDF, which is preferred, or Windows or open document text. In the Start Here section, you'll also see videos on how to submit assignments to Canvas how to participate in discussions in Canvas, seeing your grades and the feedback that you're given, and then also a video on how to print to PDF and then submit that to uh, the Canvas discussions. So make sure you go through the various videos and information that's in the Start Here section. You have the announcements, which will have all of the announcements there. Instructor information. Okay, so here's a little bit of my background, a lot of, along with a, a picture that will scare a buzzard off a crap wagon. So that gives you a little bit of background as far as I'm concerned. You have the syllabus that you can get to anytime. You have the modules. Now, the biggest part of the class really is in the modules. The modules are set up basically by week, and everything that you will need for the week is within the module. You'll see that you have your readings and resources module in there is information as far as, you know, getting help as far as your book review is concerned, example papers, things like this. And then also, you know, maybe a few other documents that I find that might be interesting. You know, I'll include those in the readings and resources. Each week will have a document that shows the instructions for the week and then all of the things that you need for the week. So for example, in week two, you have the instructions and you have a discussion. In week three, you have the instructions, you have a video to watch and also a discussion. So every week is going to have, every module is going to have everything you need for the week. In the very last week, you'll see that there are several assignments that need to be completed. You have your final book review, learning an actions paper, reflected best self, and then also taking that book review and attaching it to the final discussion board so that others have access to your review as far as the book that you read. For each week, again, you're going to have the instructions that show everything that needs to be done for the week. So it's going to tell you what it is that you're going to be learning in that module, and then it has instructions for everything that needs to be done by certain days. So by this day, these things needed to be done. By this day, these things needed to be done. And there were also several other documents that needed to be read and things like that. So all of the information that you need for the week will be within the modules. Make sure you follow the instructions that are for each week, especially for week one. In week one, it has a series of instructions of things that needed to be completed along with the document with the instructions for the reflected best self 
and then some suggestions as far as books that you might want to read and review. These are suggestions. You don't have to choose one of those. You can choose something else. What I ask is that you send me what it is that you're proposing to do for your book review so I can prove it. I want to make sure that you're getting something that's focused in on leadership and or ethics. And you're not biting off something that's so big it would take forever to read and something a little more than a pamphlet. So these are suggestions, but send me your, what it is that you want to do as far as your book review is concerned. You have the, assign the discussions. All of the discussions can be accessed from the modules or from here under discussions. The assignments also. All of the assignments, as far as the discussions, the papers, things like that, will be listed here. Again, you can still access them, and I suggest you do it, from the modules. You have your grades. And with the grades, it will show you at any one point in time where it is that you stand. It shows what the score was for each of the assignments that you have. And you'll see that there's feedback and, and uh, rubric, rubric scores and things. Please make sure to review the the video on how to access the grades and things. People, that's the cast of characters that are in the class. You can attach your 365 to Canvas so that if you have documents that you've stored in your OneDrive, you can go ahead and pull those over. Here's a link to the ODLU library. And this is a link on any media or files that you may store within Canvas. So everything as far as Canvas is concerned is right there, really pretty simple to access. Let me know if you do have questions on how to do that. Now, let's look at the syllabus. We can pull it up. Let's look at the syllabus and the expectations for the class. Bump it up just a bit. I live outside of Kansas City, Missouri, so I'm going to be one hour behind uh, those folks on the East Coast. So please make sure that you're aware of that. I do everything I can to be as accessible as possible. I th tell folks, call me anytime you want. All right. If I'm available, I answer. If not, leave a message. I get back to you as soon as I can or send me an email. Here you have the course description as far as what this course is about and then also the learning objectives that go with it. There is not a text per se. Each week, you're going to be dealing with uh, uh, discussions, and you're going to be pulling articles that relate to those discussions. So there isn't a text per se. You will have the book review that you choose. The week goes from Monday to Sunday. Starts on Monday, and everything has to be completed by Sunday. In that week, you'll be reading any kind of assigned articles or watching videos that are attached participating in the online discussions, and then submitting the assignments at the end of the semester. One of the things, again, that I ask people to do is to call me during the first week of class so that we can make sure that you're aware of what the expectations are, and I can answer any kind of questions you have. Plus, it gives me a chance to get to know folks with something other than just text on the screen. Now, the discussion forums are going to be a big part of the class. The way I handle discussion forums, the minimum, the minimum, which is average or a C grade, is your initial post by Thursday and three significant responses to others' posts by Sunday. And when I say significant, I mean something other than gnarly post, dude sort of things. That is the minimum. The initial post by Thursday, three significant responses by Sunday. And that's a C. To improve scores, what you do is you get involved earlier, you stay involved, you bring in more new information, uh, you challenge people, you, you show some of your experience. Getting involved is where the learning really does come into play. You're finding information that you didn't know, you're sharing it, and we're creating a learning community because other people are starting to pick up on your wisdom and the articles that you found. You're going to have a book review. In other words, now this is not a high school book report. This is a review of a particular book that you are reading. And again, you choose what it is that you want to read for that book review. Let me know what you're thinking about so I can approve it. One of the things I suggest students do is email me drafts of any kind of papers that you may be doing. 
I mean, and send it to me in anytime you want. Get started on something, send it to me, say, hey, you know, am I on the right track? I'll give you feedback and show you how to fix it. The whole idea behind this is to help you be successful. Now, another document that you're going to be doing is what's called the Reflect Best Self. Make sure you read the instructions for that that are in the week one assignment. Then you also have your final learning and actions paper. The learning and actions paper is where you step back at the end of the semester and say, here are the key things that I learned and describe them in detail in your own words. Then put together a, a specific action plan on how you're actually going to use those learnings. What, what are you gonna do? How are you going to use them? I do not accept late work, all right? If something is going to be late, it's not going to be counted, it gets a zero. Uh, everything needs to be submitted ahead of or on time. All formats for pages, uh, all formats for files need to be in PDF or Windows or open text documents. Do not send me Apple or try to do a Google format uh, as far as your, your submissions are concerned. Everyone has the right to express their opinions. Make sure that everything that you do is not personal towards anyone or anything like that. It's okay to disagree with someone. I mean, that, that happens all the time. The thing is, we must, I wanna make this a safe place where people can discuss and bring in new ideas because that's how all of us learn. I get back to you as quickly as I can within 48 hours, typically within 24. You call, you leave a message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. When it comes to submissions and things, I do everything I can to get that turned around within 24 to 48 hours. You submit things on Sunday, I do everything I can to make sure that by Monday night, uh, everything is graded and you have feedback back. Sometimes it might be until Tuesday, depending on the schedules and things like this. The thing is, I like to make sure I know where it is that I stand and I think you do too. So to make sure that you are clear on those things, I do everything I can to get everything turned around within 24 hours. That way you know exactly where it is that you stand as far as the class is concerned and your grade. One of the things that I ask is to only use ODU email addresses and your ODU emails as far as uh, any kind of email communications. Don't use Gmail or Yahoo or any of those other things. I'm not going to address them. I will not respond. The whole idea behind that is to protect you and your privacy. This shows where it is that as far as your evaluation, the number of discussion boards, the book review, and things like that, and how the points are actually going to be scored. So those are some of the key points as far as the class is concerned. If you have other questions, please feel free to give me a call. And again, welcome to the class.